Hey there, I'm meteorologist Ashton Altieri. It's Wednesday. It's the 8th of March already. Luckily, we do not have the kind of fog and freezing drizzle this morning like we had yesterday morning. That said, in northern Colorado, there is a winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. This technically includes Fort Collins. The bigger concern is up here right along the Wyoming Colorado line up towards Cheyenne where enough freezing drizzle could drop a light glaze of ice. Similar situation down in the Springs, El Paso County under a winter weather advisory until 10 a.m. So if you travel taking I-25 south of Monument, you could encounter a little bit of freezing drizzle down that way as well. Even though we do not have the fog in Denver, we do have the low clouds and they're going to hang out throughout much of the day. The clouds are going to dominate again. By this evening, our attention will turn here to the northern and central mountains where we anticipate a little bit of light snow developing this evening. And we can't rule out a few flurries or even a light snow shower in Metro Denver tonight, but no snow accumulation here at lower elevations, even in the mountains. Any accumulation through tomorrow morning is going to be pretty minor. It's just not much moisture working. Uh, for this system. Temperatures today stuck in the 30s just like yesterday. We did hit 35 yesterday, so we may do a little better than that today, but not much. Uh, tomorrow, upper 40s to near 50. Sunshine will return for Thursday. It will be windy as well tomorrow. It gusts up to about 40 miles per hour in Metro Denver. And then on Friday, closer to 60, we're going to stay in the lower 60s going into the weekend here in Metro Denver. The mountains will get some snow again Friday into Saturday. We're looking at at least three to six inches uh, for many mountain towns. Some ski areas could get up to a foot of snow uh, going into uh, the start of the weekend. Down here at lower elevations, we're going to be too warm for any snow, but we may still have a rain shower or two this weekend. We're going to leave in a 30% chance for March showers on both Saturday and Sunday. And of course, don't forget about the time change this weekend. We'll be losing an hour of sleep. Shortest weekend of the year as clocks spring forward 2 a.m. on Sunday. Early next week, temperatures in the 50s for the most part, which is close to normal for this time of year. It looks like maybe some changes the end of next week, so we'll keep an eye on that. Don't forget we have your latest weather every 10 minutes today on the stream. CBS News Colorado. We'll see you there. Have a great Wednesday.